Hi guys, and welcome to today's episode of Behind the Feed. I'm here today with Emma Crompton, who's a photographer. So Emma, if you want to tell us all a little bit about you and sort of what ways that you do in this industry. So I am a freelance photographer. I don't know if I want to look at the camera or you, I'm going to look at both. I can look at anyone. <laughs> um, freelance photographer, I've been doing it for about four or five years now. Okay. Um, obviously longer than that, taking pictures, but yeah, yeah. as a professional. Um, and I just do mostly women's fashion, fast fashion. I want to do a bit more like... I want to go out of fast fashion a little bit, okay, more yeah. into like some high-end. More high-end um, fashion. Yeah, I like even smaller brands, but more my style. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's the kind of road I want to be going down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. No worries. So how did you um, how did you kind of get started as a professional then? Um, so I worked full time at a company called Lamoda, which was like shoes accessories, okay. kind of doing like photography. Um, and I, my brain was just disintegrating so yeah. I, I I went freelance then okay um but yeah my first ever job straight out of uni was actually at Max Spielman <laughs> because I knew that if I worked there I got 90% off film developing nice nice <laughs> I thought, get, get a cheeky job there gets because that's all I spent money on yeah, yeah, yeah. um and then anyway I worked there full time so I didn't even have time to do any shoots so it was completely pointless <laughs> So then I started at Lord and then from there I've just been freelancing for every like lot of people. Yeah. yeah. So have you have you do you still use uh, film quite a bit now or Yeah, like for for brands, not as much. Yeah. So I'll do all my digitals and then I'll take the film for myself. Yeah. Um and most of the time brands are like, oh I really like this and it's like, well, it's two weeks too late now because yeah. I've had to wait for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but, it's weird for you to get developed. Yeah. Um, but usually I'll do like my test shoots, a bit of both. Okay. Yeah. So I set myself up on digital and then take like the rest on film. Yeah, so you get like best of both. Of yeah, course. and I always go for my, always go for my film sh shots because it just looks nicer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can't. As much as you try to, you can't really fake that oh, aesthetic. Yeah. Well, I'll try. You, you can <laughs> you can fake it to an extent, but yeah. if you've if you've shot with film and you know film. You can still tell the difference, can't you? Yeah. Like some of the stuff that's on your feed, which obviously I've linked down below, you can just see even even just when it's on your feed, not even when you've got into the image, you can yeah. just see straight away that that's a film shot. Yeah, you you know if you know, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. So obviously you've, you've touched on it a little bit by saying like you want to go a bit more into sort of high end stuff, but is that where you see yourself sort of twelve months, two years down the line? Hopefully. Yeah. Um, don't know, I had a bit of like an epiphany. I don't know if that's even the right word. Yeah. Um, a little change of heart, like end of last year. And I was yeah. like, what do I want to do? Like, is this what I want to do? Because I don't feel like I can shoot fast fashion forever. I feel yeah. like my, my, what's in here is not what's on my Instagram. Yeah. What's on my Instagram is my work, but that's not what is actually yeah, in here yeah, like yeah. in here it's all like girls running around fields with like not not much on just like floaty kind of stuff yeah, that's yeah. what's in my head but that's not what i shoot as a job so yeah it's more like putting your you're more putting your creative side and your sort of passion into your work yeah rather yeah. than somebody else's rather than doing somebody else's vision yeah kind of i like i like to get books for the style that i want to shoot yeah. so like that's why i've, I've I've stripped it back. Yeah. I'm doing what's in my head. I'm creating that. That's why I went to LA this time so that I could go to reinvent my portfolio. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And I've come back, and I feel like I've I've made a start. You can see, it. you can see the 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 like the theme of the aesthetic if it's changed. Yeah, yeah, that's um, good because that's what I was hoping <laughs> well, for. Well, there you go. Um, but now I I had kind of a I've had like a kind of a similar thing because. I've only been doing sort of fashion for pretty much a year as of last week actually. Mm. And I before that I only shot weddings. Yeah. And like oh, shooting yeah. weddings is really yeah, it's so different. Um it's really, really rewarding, but it's so much hard work and it's there's so yeah. much after and there's obviously there's all the pressure that comes with weddings. 
and as sort of this works more taking off over the past 12 months I kind of thought are weddings really what I want to be focusing on or is that something that I can do alongside this or is it something that I want to move away from completely and again same, the same with me is that I've done so much sort of work for like you said fast fashion these these like up and coming brands but then put me in a studio where I've got full creative control yeah, or something yeah. like um, like a, an editorial piece or something that where there's not a client that's that's saying this is what we want and this is how I want to do it. Yeah. And then sat on your shoulders. Exactly, yeah. And then you really then you can really enjoy, like you said, the creative side of it. So yeah. I completely agree with that. Although it'd be nice to just be shooting for Gucci and Chanel. I mean, shout that's yeah. the goal. Yeah, <laughs> if you're if you're watching. Yeah. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> um so obviously we've talked a little bit about where you've come from, where you're looking at going. So on the journey sort of so far, what's been the best piece of advice that somebody's given to you? So about six years ago, I interned in LA, which was the first time I went. Nice. Um, so it was like the second year of uni, you had like a three month period where you could just, you went and interned, yeah, so yeah. you could stay in Manchester, or you could go wherever you wanted, if you could. So out of Manchester and LA, yeah. LA, LA yeah. one day. Surprising. So I was on Days Digital and I found this, this girl, I was like, wow, these, these photos are stunning. Um, so I messaged her, she's called Logan White. She All right, she okay. Out, yeah. um, I messaged her and I said, can you intern with me? And she was like, with me? And I said, yeah, with, like, with you, because I think it works with me. Yeah. And she's like, I don't really like work that much, so I think where she was then is probably where I was maybe like a year ago or so. Like yeah, I was yeah, working, yeah. but I didn't feel like I had enough to offer yeah, no, yeah. advice to someone to come across the world to like intern with me. But anyway, I was like, I'm not, I'm not bothered. I'm, I want to come anyway. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I've got a few other photographers that you can, um, you can help out and stuff. Yeah. So in my three months that I was there, I literally did two band shoots for a for magazines and one fashion shoot. And that's that's all I did. Okay. But I sat with her on the other days and I just talked to her. Like she, yeah, she just talked absorbed to me. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, and, and she shot mostly film, pretty much all film. Yeah. Um, so she just had me like filing the films for them because she said like this is about three years worth of films that I've just not filed properly. Wow. So you wanna start helping me? I'm like, you can and I was like, okay. So that's all we did. And um she just spoke to me and I just listened to everything and took it all in. I feel like that's the best way of learning something Definitely. is to listen. Um, that's why I just like talking to people. If someone wants my advice, I'll just chat yeah. because I know that it helps. Um, and she said to me, because she shoots mostly film, you're not going to waste your money. You're not going to waste your shots. Yeah. So think about everything that you're taking the photo of first. Look, and when you've got it, then shoot. Because yeah. these, like... Digital's made us all lazy. Yeah. It's made us all got just da, 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 spray da, da, da. Brain, uh, like thousands of photos. Why? What a waste of time. Like yeah. I'm gonna go home and spend like six hours or something just going through and selecting yeah. 25 images. Like what's the point? Like take the photo that you want rather than taking the photos that Definitely. you're not that bothered about. And then when I was in LA this time. I did a full campaign and I took 300 photos and I was like, yes, I'm a, yeah. think of all that time you just saved yeah. yourself. You could, you could quite easily, yeah. over that time frame, you could quite easily have done literally 10 times that 3,000 images. Yeah, I just, I just waited until I got my set, I'd set everything up and I was like, mm, right, yeah, okay. And that's the best thing. I think it's made, it makes you a better photographer if yeah. you think about what it is you want to get out of each photo yeah. rather than just shoot, 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 shoot. It's a waste of time. Don't Definitely. do it. I, I, honestly, <laughs> I, I can't agree more. Um, before I actually started doing the kind of work that I'm doing now, um, about probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I bought a dirt cheap film camera. It's older than I am, uh, it's an old Pentax ME Super, um, bought the camera and a 50mm 1.7 lens and it cost 45 quid. Yeah. And that 45 quid is the best 45 quid I've ever spent yeah. in photography, by a mile, because 
it made me go back to basics, it made me go back to, I need to get everything right before I press click. Because when I press click, I spend money. Yeah. It's what, like 50p a picture? Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, even, if, even, if it's, even if it was a penny a picture, as soon as you get in that mindset that every time I press the shutter button, mm -hmm. I'm spending money. And I think the, the winding yeah. slows you down anyway because Definitely. you'll take it, then you'll wind, then you'll take another one. It's just, yeah. You can't. You can't just go click, 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 click. Yeah, it's not as wasteful. No, definitely. But my, um, my, I used to just get them off car boot sales, like that's yeah, what yeah. I shoot on. And then um, one of the other photographers I interviewed that time, uh, she took me on a hike up to the Hollywood sign. Okay. And um, she gave me a, a camera to use for the day. She was like, let's go out and was just, you can use this and you can have the film and stuff. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, cute. Like, I've never yeah, really yeah. used someone else's camera before. And then at the end, like, when we got down spot, she said, you can have that. And I was like, honestly, like, you're giving it nice. to me. She said, yeah, I've got two, you can have it. And I was like, what the hell? Like, thank you. Oh, so, and then my house got robbed and that got robbed. So, <laughs> but that's another story. Um, but it was, I used it like every time I do a shoot, yeah, and then yeah. I loved it so much that I then went to the second hand shop and just got another just one. Because yeah. it was like the pictures were so nice. Yeah. And it was a freebie. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. You can spend all this money on, yeah. on digital. I'm and, taking yeah. loads of pictures. I'm taking like behind the scenes on my phone of these campaigns I've just done. Yeah. Just put a bit of this on, and they look like. I just thought. Why, why am I spending all this money? I could just get, my phone. People get so carried away with gear. And yeah. We've all been guilty of it at one point or another. And I think it's, when you get to, when you get to a certain level, and I don't mean a certain level compared to everybody else, but I mean a certain level where you're comfortable with your own work. Yeah. You start realising that it's whoever's holding the camera, yeah. not what camera it is. Oh my God, yeah. Like, mine's, mine's not the, the be all and not, it's just, a 60 like it's it does the job yeah i've mm, i don't really want to get a new one and no. i could spend the money and do it if i wanted to but like i just invest in like a nice flash yeah. um and a couple of lenses yeah it's fine yeah the other one, that's <laughs> another thing as well is that lenses make so much more of a difference than yeah. actual cameras but even even then you could get uh, you could get a Canon kind of 1DX Mark II with a L lens on it. See, I don't even know what you just said. So, <laughs> like the most expensive yeah. Canon camera, and then one of their professional lenses on it. But if you put that in the hands of somebody that's not a competent photographer, yeah, they're going to get not as good an image as you could with your phone. No. And, and that, to me, that kind of says all. That says that's it all. Like why I've come from a bloody car boot sale yeah. kind of level. And I was creating some of like I did it. I've done. I've actually done a campaign on my phone before, when my cameras got stolen. Okay. I had a campaign box, and I thought, I'm just gonna do it on my phone. I did email and said, yeah. I explained. I said, I'm gonna shoot on film and my phone. Is that alright? And they're like, Yeah. And they used it. It was fine. Yeah. Well, that's it. Like my <laughs> my um, some of my videos that I shoot for YouTube. In fact, the vlog that I'm doing today, because I'm vlogging today as well as doing this. Um. I shoot it on my phone. My phone shoots video in 4K. Technology is amazing these days. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you what kind of stuff you've got. No. Like you say, it's the person holding it. Definitely. But it's funny about you saying about investing in Flash. That's literally the way that we like kind of yeah. got talking the way that today came about because I, I've been following Emma for a while anyway. And also as well, I'll link down below a Sweet Truth Down, which is the podcast. That was involved in because that's how I that's how I found it. Um, but we got talking literally just over um, over a flash gun. I noticed that yeah. you got this flash. Asked you about it. Got talking about it. Um, but it's like you said when you were just um, when you're just talking about being in LA, just talking to people and yeah. and just asking people about their their experience and and their way of shooting. That's kind of a, as well what what these um, what these interviews are about, which is finding out about the person behind yeah. what you just see when you scroll on Instagram. Yeah, I think it, it's good to for this stuff to be happening, like yeah, networking definitely. and stuff like, um, when I went 
to LA this time, there was loads of people from Manchester there, all all at the same time. Like people that I hadn't really met before, but I knew them from Instagram. Yeah. And we hang out and now we've become like really good friends and it's like, people, some photographers see each other as competition, whereas I'm like, no. like they're my friends, like yeah. we can help each other get jobs and Absolutely. pass each other this and that. And it's just, it, it's nice, it's yeah. nice to yeah, be nice. Definitely. I've, I've been sort of quite lucky in that apart from one instance that we've already spoke about yeah. but won't get spoken about on film. No. Apart from that, <laughs> I've only ever had positive influences with yeah. uh, influences, positive experiences with yeah. other photographers. And like the photographers that I've passed work to when I've not been available for a job and not been asked. Literally, in fact, literally only yesterday on Instagram, there's a job for this Friday that I couldn't do. So I put a post on my Instagram mm -hmm. said, is anybody available this Friday? Photographer that I know messaged me, I put them in touch with the client and that's booked. So and that's, that has literally no negative impact on me no, at all. you're only helping. Like, exactly. And then the next time that that photographer can't do a job. They'll think about you. Exactly. And yeah. it, like you see, if, if you start thinking about each other as competition, it's only going to lead to bad things. Of course it is. Yeah, because I, I needed someone about like last year really needed someone to help me on um on a regular job that I was a, a bit worried about losing I thought I need someone that I can trust to cover this job for me so I asked Rosie Butcher and okay, I'd yeah. never met her before and I asked her to do it because I thought she seems a nice girl yeah and um and then she she did I wanted someone that would do a good job for me as so that yeah, I didn't have to pick yeah. up any piece or anything she did it for me smashed it and then I was like, we should probably meet. Like, do you want to come yeah, on Sweet Truth and let's have a chat? And then that's when we did that yeah. episode. And that we've talked about a lot of like this kind of stuff as well, like seeing each other as like people that can help each other around. Yeah, and definitely. It's, it's it, not healthy. It does tend to be, or I found it to be a really, really sort of good community, especially in Manchester. Like, there's there's probably 10, bear in mind that I'm, I live in Sheffield, there's probably like 10 photographers that. I know from uh, from Manchester, half of which I've never actually met face yeah. to face, but just through Instagram and talking and emails and stuff like that, I know that if I needed if I needed to either put them forward for a job or if I needed them to help on a job or anything like that, that I could rely on them. And like I say, it's, when it's a really positive, um, sorry about that door, when it's a really positive thing like that, it's really, really good. Um, I think that that's the first model for our shoot that we're doing after this. So don't worry about that. But we will be wrapping things up now anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's it's definitely something where as long as everybody sees it as a positive thing, yeah. some are going to get better. Yeah, it? definitely. A network. A network. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Instagram. Yeah, literally. So speaking of Instagram, um, do you want to tell the lovely people where they can find you? So my Instagram is Emma Cromps, E M A, Cromps with a Z. Uh, dropped the second M when I was fourteen because I thought it was cool, right. and now I'm more Googleable, yep. so that's good. Um, got a new Instagram as well, Emma Cromps photo that I just put my work on, so that brand, if a brand want to book me, they yeah. don't have to sit through my selfies, yeah. basically. Um, and my website is. Emma no, it's not. It's Emma Crompton.com. Emma Crompton. I'm shit at this book situation. <laughs> Either way, they will all be linked yeah. down below. Make sure you check them out. Like I said, also make sure you check out Sweet Truth Gram as well. There's some really, really good videos in there. Some just showcasing just some of the amazing women that are in um, sort of this industry, and also quite similar to to these interviews, showing you a lot of behind the scenes and what what really happens. Real talk. Exactly, yeah. Um, and they're also done much more professionally than just in the, <laughs> in the corner of the room know. in a studio. No, it's literally like this, but in the studio downstairs. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That's literally it. Yeah. So, um, aside from that, thank you very much for today. Thanks for um, having me. We're going to go and shoot now. <laughs> um, comment down below with who else you want to see uh, in the series of videos. Uh, make sure you go and check out all of our stuff like we've already said. And apart from that, we'll see you next time.